Hello, I am Maria Inés Leal. I am a project manager at the Lyon Metropole. And today I will present you briefly our My Data strategy at the, at the local government of Lyon. So it's, it's a project, it's a strategy that we've been working on since 2016. And yeah, it started very small. And, and today I will present you one of the services also that we are deploying and we are testing right now. So just to give you a quick overview of how everything started, when we started to work at the My Data Strategy at Lyon Metropole, it was really like this. It was kind of an ovni. No one really understood what it was, the My Data concept, and what can we do with it, and, and yeah, and so on. I still have colleagues, and they don't really know what I do. But that's OK. <laughs> um, so how we started? public data strategy that was the that's today in the local government of Lyon we have a very mature public data strategy however even if today as a, as a public institution as a local government we provide services with personal data we don't really have a uh, or we did not really have a, a personal data strategy and that was a problem because as any institution as any organization as any public organization we have services that use a lot of personal data every day and, and we needed to have a strategy. We needed to, to work on a way how to provide services that are very relevant, that are personal, that have the user in the center, uh, but in the same time that protect their privacy, protect their confidentiality and um, and give this transparency that we want to provide as a public service. And we thought that the My Data concept was the most suited um, strategy to use in order to do all this. So we passed from open data to a My Data strategy, where the user is in full control and he is still able to, as, as he's in control, to share his data, his personal data for common good with others. So just to sum up, we have these uh, three key ideas in our My Data strategy. So how I said, a user-centric experience where the user is in full control of his personal data, they can, he can gather it, he can uh, use it in services that are inside of his personal cloud. Um, and then he can decide to share it with us, but also with other services. He can decide to share it and to take part on the building of the, my, on the city strategy. And how do we do that? With a new breed of IT <laughs> that allows us to do all this respecting GDPR. So we have a, a mix of things here. <laughs> and, um, and we, as a metropole, we decided to to go on, a, on the technology of the cloud, personal cloud technology, the PIMS, because this uh, technology allows the user to have a space, a personal space where he can uh, gather his data, but also where he has services. And there, the services use the data without exposing it, without sharing it outside. So not even us, we don't, we don't really have any access to all this personal data, even if we are providing services inside of these uh, clouds. So that's, that's what we wanted. We wanted a, a place where the user can feel like virtually home, <laughs> where he can have all his information, all his uh, key documents, and also use them inside without having to share it with anyone, with no one. <laughs> So I will present you one of the services that we're developing in this personal cloud. It's called Ecolio. Ecolio is a service uh, that, um, that we are developing on energetic transition policies. Basically, Ecolio is a digital service that provides a user uh, with a dashboard where he can see and visualize his electric, water, and gas consumption. All this uh, with the goal of uh, for him reducing his, his uh, energetic consumption. How does it work? It's very simple. The user connects himself to his accounts in all the energy providers. Then 
he collects the data on his cloud and inside of his personal cloud, he will find Ecolio. Ecolio will use his data to show him the, um, his consumption and also he will give him keys and challenges so he can uh, reduce it. The idea behind is to, to provide appropriate and personalized actions for the user to change his behavior. Ecolio will help and wants to help the citizens of Lyon to trim their energy bills. And that's the whole point of this service. But how are we doing that? How can we do that? Well, we are working with um, social psychologists. We created and all the architecture of our app is based on the trans theoretical model of Prochenska and Di Clementi. It is the most used uh, and common uh, model uh, used in order to bring behavioral change. So this model shows different stages in order to bring the user from a behavior A to a behavior B. And we will uh, use these stages to create steps that we need to do in order to change the behavior. And in each step and in each stage, we will have uh, some functionalities from our app. We, we, we made sure that everything that was made in the app, all the functionalities will fit one of the steps in order to have the complete model and the complete process for a user to change his behavior. And how does it look like? So you will have uh, a place where the user can be aware of his consumption, but also where he will be aware of his, um, of, of his situation to compare himself with others that are in the same, similar situation. He will have challenges. He will have, uh, um, yeah, challenges and quizzes where he will um, be encouraged to use um, eco behavioral, eco actions, and he will be able to to trim his energy bills, like basically, thanks to all this. So we try to create a whole uh, gaming env environment to encourage the user to to take more and more eco actions into consideration. And finally, everything that we did is, and that we are doing is public. You can find the public code at uh, forge.gronion.com. There you will see the Ecolio project, but you will see other projects that we are doing in the My Data environment. And I will encourage you to just take a look at it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And thank you so much. I hope that this um, example gives you a little enlightenment. We are, right now we have, we passed a first, um, a first group of testers and we are uh, doing some changings and developing it in order to test it again in the winter where we will have other costs and more, more there is a, a bigger objective on on energy uh, transition and how to decrease the energetic consumption. So that's where we are now. We will be, we are hoping to release our service by next year to be open and public to anyone in the Lyon Metropole. So don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much for your attention.